So yes, welcome to Funky's World. Um, I made a video last night, a review of the Duggar docu series, which is already edited. Um, it'll go up after this video, I think. <sighs> yeah, after this video, while I'm editing the next one. The next one is going to be us unboxing and putting together my new jewelry box because it's going to be here today. Bevex is dropping it off. Don't know exactly when. Um, so that will be fun. Um, That's not unusual. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. <laughs> anyway, um, Hi, this is Angelina Wilson, 508-981-2444. I called you before. I really need you to call me back about this letter you sent me, about what I need for eligibility. I have been waiting days for you to call me back. Thank you. So that's my plan today. Um, again, it will get hung on that door, the closet door. I think it's a perfect spot for it. Um, I think there is assembly required, so we'll be doing that. So it'll be two videos. We'll be unboxing it and then we'll be assembling it. I don't think there should be a lot of assembly. There may be a couple of hanging things inside, and probably the part that hangs it on the door, I would guess you have to attach to it or whatever. Um, and it locks, which is wonderful. <laughs> I did goof up though. I meant to use my $40. Oh, excuse me that I have in rewards and I forgot to include it. Oh well, I can afford it. I'm going to keep the rewards though and let them add up through the year and use them for my Christmas shopping at the end of the year. So, I'm sure I got more rewards for reward points for that. Um, and every time I do my 
my food deliveries and stuff like that. So. And I pay it off every month completely. So it doesn't matter. Um, which is pretty easy to do. My dress will be here the 14th, I think was the updated date, which is great. Um, Amazon said I had a problem. But when I went and looked, I didn't have a problem. So I don't know. They said I had a problem with my shoes. I don't know why, because I don't, according to their website, but you know who in there said I did, so hopefully not a problem. Monday? I don't know how I missed that because I already picked it up, but, um, oh no, that was yesterday. Anyway, um, today's trash day, but I already did that, so. Um, I was <coughs> reading about the Davenport, Iowa, um, apartment building collapse or partial collapse basically the center of it collapsed it looked like the dead center like there was a little bit standing on this side and a little bit about the same amount standing on this side and then the back I think was standing but the dead center collapsed and the whole thing is in danger of imminent collapse <coughs> which they knew before it collapsed because when inspectors went out and inspected the brick, there was brick bulging and ready to fall out where old windows used to be in the building. Um, you know, clay brick barely holding. There were bricks in other areas that were also clay barely holding. <coughs> and they said in their report, in multiple places, imminent collapse. That means whoever owns that building is scarred <laughs> because they're going to get sued and they're not going to have any defense because the inspection report given to them showed the building was ready to collapse. Oh, and the city of Davenport might be in trouble. If, well, if it was a city inspector and the city didn't require that the building be uh, either condemned or um, evacuated the city of Davenport could also be sued rightfully so all of the above should be sued as long as the inspectors told the people they needed to tell and didn't just throw the report on their desk and forget about it if so they're at fault um, then everyone else needs to be sued <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not a Sue Happy person, but I can tell you. Oops, that's upside down. Uh. Um, <clears throat> that that's a lawsuit that should happen, in my opinion. Um, in 
my dogger video. It's all my opinions, um, and it's all based on my personal faith. So, if you will, please be kind in the comments. It's one of those kind of videos that I'm kind of hoping will go viral. I'm not holding my breath, but I think I did a really nice job on it. Um, like I said, they're my opinions and mine alone. Um, one thing I want to do is I think by using these right here, I can hook it up to the TV, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's video and audio, so it's yellow and white. So put the yellow and white there. Then I, I plug that into one of the HDMI's um, by plugging it into the uh, one of the HDMI splitters. Um, I think I can get it to come up on the big TV, but it's going to be a little bit of work. Um, I also saved up some cash because I'm going to go and get some notebooks at the um, Fussy Run because I can get binders really cheap there. Dollar, dollar fifty a piece. And there's one for, I think it's three fifty, maybe five dollars. That's a zip up one, which I need for Kid Missing because I've run out of space again for my cases. Um, so, if it's still there, I'm going to grab that one as well. Because otherwise, you pay between $25 and $35 for it on Amazon, so. And the same with that. So, that's my plan. Um, I don't know what day this week I'll get there. Stephanie's coming one day this week to pick up her plants and her Betty Boop. Boop Boop! Bee Doo! <laughs> um, so, yeah. I want to put this on my key, but I'm not sure how to stretch it enough to ouch, to do it. <laughs> one thing in my house. How do you do this? I don't want to heat off the heat and just gonna but I think my friend can help me. Anyway, um, as I mentioned on the other video, I was, I was interrupted because Bob came over and bring me dinner. I have Italian wedding soup for supper, and I also have, of course, the fresh Panera bread that I got yesterday. So I'll cut off a chunk of that to have with the wedding soup. Oh, that's going to be so good. Um, because it's my soft bread, and I double wrapped it, so <clears throat> it would stay nice soft bread. And that's going to be absolutely perfect for that, so. Uh, yeah, I want this pink one on my key, so. And my friend is going back to Cleveland in either August or September to visit her friend who just lost her husband. And she's going to go to Second Sense. What happened was she ended up, when she got off the bus, she ended up on West 3rd Street. She found a policeman working the construction site and asked him, you know, showed him the address. And he said, oh, you want an autograph? Because she wrote autograph for Angie. And um, she said, I couldn't remember the the guy's name. She said, I, I thought it was Rick or something. I said, no, it's Robert. And 
here's the weird part, Steph. His father worked at the steel mill, which is where her husband goes to work when he goes to Cleveland. Um, anyway, sorry I did not mean to clap that loud. Um, but when he said that, I just went, huh? <laughs> Holy coincidence, Batman. <laughs> I didn't really say that part, but... Holy coincidence, Batman. That is weird. Anyway, so her husband's been working there since forever. Uh, coming in, training, and doing all sorts of things there. And um, <coughs> she's been asking if he's heard the name. Deva. So, uh, so she wrote it down to ask her husband. I was in the library yesterday, actually, we were talking. Uh, So yeah, she's determined to go down there. But anyway, she was on, that's what I was saying, she was ended up on West 3rd Street. And the guy saw the address and he said, you got 50 blocks to go. And she's like, 50 blocks? <laughs> she said, there was no way in that hot sun I was walking 50 blocks. I said, I don't blame you. <laughs> that That's a long walk. So... You know, because of what a city block is, we don't have blocks here in rural New England. <laughs> so, so she's got to find a bus route that will take her to that area. Um, I do have to change the battery. Um, I think we've covered everything for our daily journal. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye, guys. Please subscribe. We're still trying to get to 100. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.